Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmaran and this is more 49ers news. Now this is all about day three of the training camp, so let's get to it. Before I actually get into it, check out the link in the uh, description. Um, if there's a video out that I've done, it's basically telling me what I'm doing on the pre-season and regular season on the uh, NFL. So keep an, eye on, uh, keep an eye out for that as well. And um, yeah, let's crack on with day three. Okay, so here we are, si.com forward slash NFL, forward slash 49ers. Uh, this is by Grant Cohen again. Um, I love watching his content. Check him out on YouTube. He was there for all the uh, training camp days and everything. And this is day three. Analyzing the best and worst performances from day three of the 49ers training camp. So here we go. Uh, here's who stood out on day three of the 49ers training camp. Keep in mind the team did, uh, did no one-on-one -on -one drills or seven-on-seven -seven drills. Instead, they warmed up and did lots of special teams and on 11-on-11 uh, -on -11 team drills. So here you go. The good. <coughs> Number one, wide receiver Debo Samuel. Uh, caught another 60-yard touchdown pass from Trey Lance. This was Samuel's second long touchdown grab of camp. And we're only on day three. So far, Samuel's been the best player on the 49ers offense and uh, isn't and hasn't been close. He's in the best shape of his career. So that's good. Next up, number two, wide receiver, punt returner, Brandon Ayuk. Didn't catch any passes during team drills, but did practice punting, uh, return punting, which is great news. Because Ayuk is the best punt returner on the team. The 49ers need to let him return punts the way Arizona State let him. After practice, uh, Ayuk said he wants to return punts and is working to prove to, to the coaching staff that he's ready. Good for him. Number three, running back, Eli Mitchell. Uh, the only running back on the team who had any success today. Uh, the other running backs kept trying unsuccessfully to run around the outside. Mitchell was the only runner who consistently ran between the tackles and gained yards. Look for him to be uh, effective into Russia. Okay. Number four, defence tackle, uh, Kevonta Street. On the first play of practice, Street blew by starting career Alex Mack and stopped Raheem Mozart for a five-yard loss. Okay, defensive tackle DJ Jones, number five, blew by Matt and stepped to Trey uh, Simone for a five yard loss. Not a good day for Mac. Okay, number six, uh, defensive tackle Kevin, Gain, uh, Kevin Givens, uh, blew by guard Jake Brendel and stopped Wayne Gilman for a five yard loss. Not a good day for Brendel either, whoever he is. Uh, seven, defensive tackle Zach Kerr. Uh, blue by starting left guard uh, Leakin Thompson and stopped Gilman for a five yard loss. Not a good day for the entire running game other than Mitchell. Number eight, defensive end Samson uh, Ibukman. Uh, beat Trent Williams and Mike McGinchke to recall two sacks in one practice. Uh, Ibukman clearly is benefiting from his transition from outside linebacker to defensive end. Uh, number nine, quarterback Josh Rosen. Through two beautiful passes over the middle, one to uh, Mohamed Sanyu, which Sanyu caught, and one to Richie James Jr., which James dropped. More on James below. <laughs> okay, that's all the good bits. Now, the not so good. Number one, defensive, Nick Bosa. Didn't practice today, uh, meaning he didn't stretch, didn't warm up, didn't stand on the sideline, nothing. It was MIA. Uh, head coach Carl Shanahan said that he gave. Bosa a rest day, which most likely means Bosa's uh, surgically repaired left knee must be sore. He said on Thursday that he's not been experiencing soreness. Not the best news then. He, he, right, is a heart wrencher, 50-50. Number two, wide receiver, uh, Jalen Hurd. Also didn't practice today because he also had a rest day because he's coming off a torn ACL and hasn't played football since 2018. This guy is the new... Uh, J, um, J McC uh, McCannan on the 49ers, he couldn't stay healthy, this ain't good. Tight end, Michael Prout, uh, missed practice with a calf injury, Prout is the first player to get injured on training camp. Oh my god. Um, defensive tackle, Hurst, uh, Hurst missed practice with an ankle injury, Hurst is the second player to get injured in the training camp. Tight end, George Kittle, uh, Kittle just caught one pass and committed a holding penalty which uh, neglected a nice long run by Mosa. Kit was being quite unkittle in training camp so far. Well, that's a first. Six wide receiver, Richie James Jr. Dropped both passes that came his way. He seems to have a real problem holding the, the, uh, the velocity on Trey Lance's passes, which means James 
may not last long on the 49ers roster because Lance is the future, possibility the present. Okay, number seven, quarterback, Nut, um, Nate Stuffield. Missed all three of his passes attempts today. Wasted everyone's time. Should not be on the roster. Good grief. And there you have it. Um, am I worried? Yes. Um, for Bosa. I'm very worried for Bosa. It's not looking good for this guy. I mean, like, what's going on? Seriously. Bosa should be... I know that he's had a tough injury. I know there's videos out there as well where... He's practiced, um, there's a practice where um, he's on his like uh, get ready start line and rush the bag and he missed time that, so it ain't looking good for this guy at all, but we'll find out, um, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think um, of any of it, especially Bosa, let me know how you think of him, um, other than that. That's it, guys. Um, thank you very much for the 40 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, and appreciate that you subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe. So we're doing a lot more 49ers news. I've got uh, the live upcoming streams as well for September regular season. And I've and pre-season, I'll be doing the um, videos, the 40-minute ones as well. And other stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.